their siren. So you guys have probably seen me doing this on chat, where I put siren on the door. Uh, and then I work on touching her feet. Touch. And if she doesn't move her feet, I say good, and she gets a little reinforcer. Um, and the reason that we do this with Siren is so that we can hopefully trim her little nails. Yeah. Yeah. Touch. Good. That's very nice. Very good. What are you doing? Touch. Um, doing things like this also lets us get a good look at the texture of Siren's feet, and if we ever had to treat them for some reason, uh, we can touch them <laughs> without worrying about her trying to bite us, <laughs> which is nice. Yes, it's nice. Tico, are you ready? Yes, that's so nice. Are you ready? Sorry, I know I'm talking a lot. Um, would you like to come on? That's very nice. Can you show chat your feet? We'll see. We'll see. Okay, hold on. I have to figure out a way to hold sunflower seeds and ask for Tico's feet and hold a camera. <laughs> That's so nice. That's so nice. Can you hold up your left foot? That's very good. Left. How about your right? That's a good looking foot. You ready? Can you do a big stretch? You can do it. You can do it. Big stretch. Uh, one of the things, though, that we do not have to our advantage today is the wind. Good. Good job, Tico. Uh, so usually, when I'm working with the parents, uh, I'll hope for a headwind for them. So I'll set the perches up in such a way that they'll like kind of have a breeze coming at them, so they'll naturally feel inclined to open their wings a little bit. Uh, today, there is nothing, which is, you know, unfortunate, but... Is the way it is. We'll see if we can get one more big stretch. Did not hesitate that time. Siren's got a lot going on. Molly's got a bit more of a stretch than Tico does. Like she makes things look very easy. She started at the same distance, so this distance is actually a little further than Tico is doing. Are you ready? Good job. Good job. There's a little pecan piece there as well. She's like already like, I'm ready to go back the other way. Do you want this little piece of pecan? It's for you. Chico still is ready to do more. <laughs> pellets and throws every piece of produce that we offer her to the ground. Mia's got a lot of feathers coming in on her chest. I don't know if you guys have seen this. We've been working on like easy touches with Mia. Um, she's really good at letting us touch her keel, which is very nice. Um, but she's got, she seems to be leaving some of those feathers alone, which is nice. Hi, sweet girl. Um, which is very nice. Nice, Miley. She knows. She knows that the tissue paper is where the walnut is. <laughs> Will destroy. <laughs> Wants walnut. The hardest part about these chat is that she's got to actually crunch the walnut and take it out in pieces. Which obviously she's not going to have a problem doing. She's a pro. So these are typically, if we offer whole nuts often enough, um, and they use their beaks obviously to get into the whole nuts, that helps their beaks tremendously. And obviously you guys see the macaws constantly chewing on everything. Oh, Siren, what are you doing? <laughs> She's going for a stroll. <laughs> Siren, are you having a great time? Hmm. They're still working. 
Siren, are you having a good time? Getting all the little walnut bits? <laughs> She's having a great time. These two, still going. Tico, making a move. Oh, drama. Is that funny, Siren? 